you want to have this awesome household carpet material for available use in all your blender scenes forever well you'll have exactly that upon completion of this quick tutorial and let's get started by heading over to that shading workspace so the first thing you want to do while you're here is go to your preferences like this and enable the node wrangler add-on this is just going to give you some shortcuts and stuff and you'll have your model set up your node editor here and then for the lighting i just uncheck scene world and have this forced 3d lighting so then we'll press shift a search for a noise texture and we're going to use this to modify our object coordinates so with this selected i'll press Control t and that'll give us the texture coordinate and the mapping so now we can move our object coordinates into the mapping so if we control shift and left click this noise texture we get a preview of it so i'm going to mix this with the mapping node so we'll press shift a and search for a mix rgb we'll take this color from the noise texture into color one and then the vector from the mapping into color two then if we control shift and left click this mix node we preview it we're going to change the factor to a 0.9 which is going to use mostly the mapping and a little bit of noise texture for the coordinates so i'm going to take this i'll grab it and move it a little to the left and now we're going to create the mask for our carpet and to do that, I'm going to press Shift A, search for a Voronoi texture. And on this Voronoi texture, I'm going to Control Shift and left click him, change the color from our mix RGB into the vector. Then on the scale for this guy, I'm going to move it up to a 100, which is going to give us our carpet pattern. So then we're going to press Shift A, and I'm going to search for a math node. This is going to be a greater than node if after we change the function like this. So we'll take this distance into our value here. And we'll change this threshold to a 1. So if we control shift and left click, we can preview that this is what's going on. So now I'm gonna press shift A, I'm gonna search for another mixed RGB. We're gonna take this value into our factor. We're gonna take this distance from the Voronoi into color one, and color two, we're gonna make a black. So if we control shift and left click on this guy, we see that nothing different is happening from the Voronoi, which is what we want for now. So then we're gonna grab these guys, move them down. Then with them all selected, I'll press control shift D. This is gonna give us a second level of detail, and then we'll press shift R which will give us a third level of detail. So then what we're gonna do is control shift left click this middle mix RGB node. I'm gonna change the threshold to a 0.5 on the greater than node, which is gonna be affecting half, then the scale down to a 75. So what this will do is if we take our color now into color two, it's going to mix these 50-50. Um, so then if we control shift left click this top guy, I'm gonna take the threshold and put it at a one third like this, and then take our scale down to a 55 like so then i'll take this color into color two and now we have our mask for the household carpet awesome this is going to factor into our bump so i'll press shift a i'm going to search for a bump node we'll take our color into the height and then we'll take our normal into here and if we can show shift and left click this guy we can see that it's sort of inverted like the little dots are going down instead of up so we need to check this invert box right here which is going to give us the correct effect so now that we have our bump, we're going to be factoring in our color and some dirt stains. So to do that, I'm gonna press Shift A, search for a noise texture, just like this. I'm gonna take our vector and move it into here. So then on this detail, I'm gonna move it up to a 10 and the scale up to a 50. So if we Shift A and search for a mixed RGB node, we'll take our factor from the noise texture into the factor of the mixed RGB, Control Shift and left click to preview it. So on this color one, we're gonna change the hex value. I'll go ahead and give you an exact value for that. And it's going to be a BCB, AB5, just like that. Then this color two is going to be a 948, just like this, F83. Awesome, there we go. So now we have our carpet color. Then for further adjustments, we can hit Shift A, search for a hue saturation node. So we can change saturation and things like that as we choose if we want it to be super saturated or if we wanna change the hue. Then we're gonna shift A, search for a mix RGB. This is gonna factor in some dirt stains. We'll take this color into color one. Then the factor for this, we need another noise texture. So I'll select this one and press control shift D, which will give us this guy. So then we'll change the color on this before we do that to make sure we have our dirt stains looking proper. We're gonna change the hex value on it to a 5B4, 532, just like this. So now we have our nice dirt color. So then we're gonna press shift A. I'm gonna search for a math node. This is gonna be an add node. And I'm going to take the scale on this noise texture and move it back down to a 5, and the detail will move down to a 2. So then this factor, I'll plug into the value on top. So if we control shift and left click, we can see what's happening here. So if we plug this value into the factor right now, I'll control shift and left click, we have way too much dirt. So I need to change this value to a negative 0.55, which will give us a little bit of dirt stains. Obviously, we can increase the amount of dirt stains we want or decrease it with this node right here, and it's super flexible like that. Then we can take this color and move it into the base color here and control shift to left click to preview what it's looking like right now. 
So then the roughness on this, it's normally at a 0.5. I just go ahead and move it up to a 0.9, just like so. So now we have this. So if we head over to our viewport now, the layout, I'm gonna go ahead and hide our sphere. And I'm going to add us a plane. So shift A mesh plane, because this is about something the carpet would be on. I'll scale it up, press control A, make sure you apply the rotation in the scale. Then you can search for your material in your material section. So household carpet, just like this. Now that we've done all that, feel free to adjust the parameters to your liking, such as the color and the bump, even the roughness and the scale, things like that. Since we made some carpet, you may also be interested in creating some other modern household materials, such as like marble, stainless steel, or a variety of others. You can check those out here on my playlist. And with that said, I look forward to seeing you in the future. And it would really mean a lot to me if you left a like on your way out, if you did enjoy this tutorial, or left a comment letting me know your feedback, if not. Anyways, I'll see y'all guys in the next one. Adios.